Maiden Philly Mares lining up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. It's post time for the Thursday night opener. Let's send it over to track announcer Vance Cameron for the race call. Red Dirt Diamond, Stone Cold Girl, Miss Chantel Maccabee. Next in line, Midnight Love, Woodmere, Heather M, Camelot, Terror, Beach Day on the grandstand side, top of the stretch. They're approaching a start. The rough end facing, leaving out Stone Cold Girl along the rail, Red Dirt Diamond, joining them next in line, crossing over fourth, Miss Chantel Makabe, then racing fifth on the turn, Woodmere Heather M. Sixth is Midnight Love with Camelot Terror and the trailer, that is Beach Day. So the quarter pole bound and driving up from the outside to take over the lead, that is Stone Cold Girl. In line to Mark Bradley, racing second, that's Red Dirt Diamond, moving up third on the outside, next in line. Racing from fourth, Miss Chantel Mockerbe, fifth is Woodmere Heather M. Then along the inside, a racing six, Midnight Love, Camelot Terror seventh, and the trailer, that's Beach Day, 29 and three was the first quarter, and off the turn they come, headed towards the opening half mile, led by Stone Cold Girl and Mark Bradley. Second along the rail now, that's next. Next in line, reaching from third is a Red Dirt Diamond. Fourth is Miss Chantel Makabe. Then in fifth is Woodmere Heather M. There goes Midnight Love to the outside in sixth. Seventh is Camelot Terror. And on the outside, the trailer is Beach Day. 59 Four, opening half mile, and moving over to the 5-H, led by Stone Cold Girl. Next in line, goes up on the outside to challenge the leader. Red Dirt Diamond races from third, fourth. That's Miss Chantel Makabe. Then in fifth, it's Woodmere Heather M. Midnight Love is sixth, racing from seventh. Up the inside is Camelot Terror, and off stride goes Beach Day at the back. Three quarters up in 130, and four. They round the turn for the second and final time with an eighth of a mile left to come leading up the rail stone cold girl next in line the challenger me chantel maca bay is coming third down the stretch they come next in line takes over stone cold girl would be heather rim oh set the camera up wow four of them across the track in a wind picture to open up a thursday night at the driving park Two oh one flat. Well, I think that might be win number nine nine seven for Mr. Mark Braley as he inches closer to that one thousand win. Milestone, but we'll wait to see the results of the photo. These Philly Mares maidens put on quite a show here to kick things off as we get a look at the universe in slow mo. Stone Cold Girl and Braley insisted on leading 29 and 3. They made the four next in line, get in the two hole. And uh, Jason Hughes wasn't long in the two hole as he popped the pocket heading to five eighths. And they're going to battle all the rest of the mile. The next three eighths, they are going to battle. And uh, on the outside, arriving on the scene late is the three, Miss Chantel Maccabee. And in the inside is the six, Woodmere, Heather, and there's four across the track here in a finish. What a tight finish here on the line as we get a look at this Universal Slow Mo. Universal is going to freeze frame it for us on the line. And it looks like Stone Cold Girl and Bradley do get it there by a head, but we'll wait to see the results. And, uh, Vance announcement here in the Thursday night opener, but what a race here to kick things off. Time of the mile, 201 flat.
Stone Cold Girl wins the photo finish, and she's arriving at the first race winner's circle by facing Philly 2 by Stonebridge Terror off the Badlands Town of Redam. What a Bad Girl, owned by Guy Trevide, Robert Poirier, Jonathan Therio, and Stefan Boudreau, trained by David Dowling, Mark Bradley in the driver's seat for the win. The mile of 201's a maiden record on Stone Cold Girl in the first. 